It's not all about the bass, but this garage band quick jam is. Now let's play some bass. We're going to tap on the bass and then to select which bass we're going to use, we tap in the top left and then we can select between the four electric, the four electronic and the one upright bass. Now to play bass notes in each of these chords, we just tap on the strings. Unlike the guitar, we can't tap the letter to get a chord and we don't have any mute function here. Now let's go to our settings and turn on autoplay. And now if we tap on one of these, we get a very cool riff played by GarageBand. Now something I missed in my guitar video is that if we tap with two fingers, or three fingers, we get a variety in the riff that GarageBand will play. And a big thanks to one of my YouTube viewers who picked this up and provided that feedback on the guitar video. Now let's go back to our settings and turn on notes. And now we have our familiar guitar fretboard where we can play our notes. To play open notes, once again, we tap right down here on the left on the bridge. Now, as I mentioned, we have electronic basses in here too, which look like this and sound like this. Let's go to our options and you'll notice that we have some additional knobs here. We have a cutoff and a mix and other basses will have other options as well. And if we tweak these, we get a different sound. Our final bass option over here on the second page is the upright bass. And you'll notice here that instead of frets, we have these markers. So if we want to play the bass, we have to know where to touch on the strings. But if you don't know where, that's where the scale comes in handy. Let's tap on scale and turn on the major scale. And now we don't have to touch in the exact spot. We have these great little grids that will show us how to play. And one final tip, if you are more at home on a keyboard than you are on a bass guitar layout, you can go into other here in the keyboards and select any of our bass guitars and play those here on the keyboard. Well, the sun is down and the moon is out, so this GarageBand Quick Jam is at an end. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.